Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Halo, Sali Saliha. How are you today? Oke, okay. nice banget. Coba ya dijawab uh, pertanyaannya Miss Lina. Gimana kabarnya hari ini? Alhamdulillah, luar biasa. Allah Akbar. Ya bisa ya. Coba kita ulang sekali lagi once more ya. Gimana kabarnya hari ini? Alhamdulillah, luar biasa. Allah Akbar. Oke, okay, Alhamdulillah. Welcome back with Miss Lina. Today we are going to learn Science Cambridge. Nah, please open your book, your science book, page 34. Oke, okay. have you found it? Ya, yeah, that's right. Today we are going to learn about why is the sea salty. Oke, okay? are you ready? Oke, okay, let's we study together. Here we go. Do you know where is it? Yes, this is beach. Nah, have you ever come here? I guess you all have ever a vacation to the beach. Nah, you know the taste of the water, the sea water. Ya, jadi pernah nggak merasakan air laut itu bagaimana? Ya, air laut itu ternyata asin teman-teman. Kok bisa ya? Oke, okay, after this, Miss Lina will tell you a story. Okay, listen carefully. Oke, okay, please listen the story. People used to tell this story about Why the sea is salty. Once upon a time, all the salt was made by a giant. He walked all day, turning the handle of his salt grinder and out came salt. People in another land heard about this. They told the giant that they would make him very rich if he came to their land to grind salt. He set off on a ship which sailed into a storm. The giant continued to grind his salt. Then the storm grew worse. And the ship sank to the bottom of the sea. The giant is still at the bottom of the sea, grinding salt. So this is why the sea is salty. Nah, the story that Messina told you is only a myth. It's traditional story. Jadi cuma mitos ya. So, what's about the scientists? Scientists already know that the salt has come from salty rocks, rivers, and lakes. Nah, after this, Miss Lina will tell you about the real story, the reason why the sea is salty. The first process is when the rain flows over the Land. Jadi semua itu berawal dari hujan Loh, Kenapa hujan? Apa yang terjadi dengan hujan? Nah The water Because of the rainfall The water Was a salt and other minerals Out of the rocks And gets mixed with the water To the river Jadi karena Hujan tadi menyebabkan uh, garam dan mineral lainnya yang dari bebatuan tadi bercampur dengan air lalu akan menuju ke sungai and the rivers finally carry the salt to the sea jadi sungai tadi e, membawa garam ke lautan ke ocean sea sama aja ya And then the salt stays in the sea as no water flows out of the sea. 
when the sea water evaporates to the to form clouds. Jadi garamnya tadi stay tertinggal di dalam lautan and then terjadilah penguapan evaporates dan menjadi awan. Almost all the salt stays behind. The left behind salt slowly gets collected over a period of time and this is how sea water get salty. Nah, saat terjadi penguapan, hampir semua garam itu tertinggal di dalam lautan. Nah, seiring berjalannya waktu, lama-kelamaan garam yang tertinggal tadi akan menumpuk. Nah, itulah mengapa air laut itu asin. Okay, Alhamdulillah, Yerobil Alamin, we have finished our discussion today. I hope you understood about the, this topic. Yeah, about uh, the reason why is the sea salty. And now is your time. Please explain the reason why the sea is salty with your own sentence in English and write it in LDL book. Ya, jadi setelah melihat penjelasan dari Miss Nina tadi proses kenapa air laut itu bisa asin. Nah, sekarang teman-teman bisa menulis di buku LDL ya. Nah, tulislah sesuai dengan sepemahaman teman-teman dan uh, use English ya. Jadi nanti tulisnya pakai English, oke? Okay? Uh, good luck for uh, today. I hope you have a very good time. Oke, okay? bye-bye. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.